Cisco UCS Manager Initial Setup Part 1 For detailed documentation of this installation procedure, including its prerequisites, see the Cisco UCS Manager Getting Started Guide, Release 3.1.2. Before you begin, collect the following information that you'll need during console setup. A system name. A password for the admin account. Choose a strong password that meets the guidelines for Cisco UCS Manager passwords. This password cannot be blank. Management port IPv4 and subnet mask or IPv6 address and prefix. Default gateway IPv4 or IPv6 address. DNS server IPv4 or IPv6 address, which is optional. And an optional domain name for the system. Configure the primary fabric interconnect. Connect to the console port. Power on the fabric interconnect. You'll see the power on self-test messages as the fabric interconnect boots. When the unconfigured system boots, it prompts you for the setup method to be used. Enter console to continue the initial setup using the console CLI. Enter setup to continue as an initial system setup. Enter Y to confirm that you want to continue the initial setup. Enter the password for the admin account. Re-enter the password to confirm. Enter yes to continue the initial setup for a cluster configuration. Enter the interconnect fabric, either A or B. Enter the system name. Enter the IPv4 or IPv6 address for the management port of the fabric interconnect. Note, if you enter an IPv4 address, you'll be prompted to enter an IPv4 subnet mask. If you enter an IPv6 address, you'll be prompted to enter an IPv6 network prefix. Enter the respective IPv4 subnet mask or IPv6 network prefix, then press enter. You'll be prompted for an IPv4 or IPv6 address for the default gateway, depending on the address type you entered for the management port of the fabric interconnect. Enter either the IPv4 address or the IPv6 address of the default gateway. Enter yes if you want to specify the IP address for the DNS server or no if you don't. Optionally, enter the IPv4 or IPv6 address for the DNS server. The address type must be the same as the address type of the management port of the Fabric Interconnect. Enter yes if you want to specify the default domain name, or no if you don't want to. Optionally, enter the default domain name. Review the setup summary and enter yes to save and apply the settings, or enter no to go through the setup wizard again to change some of the settings. If you choose to go through the setup wizard again, the values you previously entered are provided, and those values appear in brackets. To accept previously entered values, press Enter.